What's up bafflers? James Wood here. Your computer and all attached devices require the latest drivers in order to function correctly and provide the latest updates. Now there's three different ways to do this. The first method is by going to start, then settings, then updates and security. What it will do is Windows will automatically check for updates. Some people think this is just for the Windows operating system, but actually it checks not only things for the operating system, but also for devices that you've got connected to your computer or graphics card or whatever you have inside your computer as well. Because Windows wants to make sure that your computer is running perfectly. Or if you prefer, I didn't mention this, a device manager. This is also useful if you can't remember what model number your product is. So say, for example, I couldn't remember what uh, graphics card I was using. Then you just click display adapters and then it'd be under here and mine is called the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super so I can type that into Google. Now what you can also do on Device Manager is just do right click and then press update. Now you've got two options, if you have the driver already on your computer you can select that but most likely you want to search online and then you just click that and it will search for the driver. So say if that didn't work out and whatever you're trying to use either doesn't work or doesn't have a feature that you want, sometimes Windows provides a generic driver. Say for example a keyboard, it may be like a Logitech keyboard, it may have a certain feature that is an unusual feature. So what it will do, it will work for the most part, but maybe that one feature won't work. So what I'd recommend is going to Google Chrome and literally just typing in whatever your product is and driver. So for example, this is actually my webcam, C270. But what you'll generally find is that the top result is like a sales page like for the webcam and then underneath it'll be like under support.logitech and it will give you all the latest drivers. So it would be under, in this case, downloads. So there we go. I've got the uh, driver required for my webcam. I've already downloaded it so I don't need it now. I'm not going to reinstall it, but you get the general idea of it. If it's a graphics card driver, you go on to uh, NVIDIA, or if yours is an AMD driver, it will be on AMD slash drivers. Select which graphics card you have. So mine is a GeForce RTX 20 series, yep, 2080, yes, uh, Windows 10, that's my operating system, yep. And mine would be English UK, obviously, wherever you live, select your language and then press search. And what it will do, it will find exactly the driver for your graphics card. So those solutions work fine if you want to update a single driver, it won't take too long. However, if you want to update lots of drivers or maybe you don't know which drivers need to be updated, then you can go ahead and download Driver Booster 7 free. So it has a large driver database which is very important for one of these sorts of programs. It needs to know what you have and what drivers to update. It works with external devices as well, so say so things like printers and mice. You can fix various Windows issues that happen due to driver errors. And also the driver updating is really fast. So let's have a look. So I've downloaded it and done a scan. <laughs> Unfortunately, I forgot to press record when I did the scan part, but it was so quick that there wasn't really much to record in all honesty. So yeah, it's got a list of a lot of drivers. I oh, know these are up to date. Okay, so it does, <laughs> I was about to say, so yeah, we've got the up to date ones down here, and then the ones at the top are all ones that need updating. Now, one downside to the driver booster free is the fact that you do need to update to the pro version to update seven more device drivers and game components. However, there's still a lot of drivers here that you can just update straight away. So, say if I wanted to update my uh, graphics driver, I'll just press update right here. So we have nine outdated device drivers. All we have to do now is click update now. So these are just general things when you're installing drivers. You may have to disable your security software if it blocks the driver installation. You may encounter black screen, especially if your driver is like a graphics driver. You may encounter occasional network disconnection if you're like an ethernet, Wi-Fi uh, driver may need updating. Then you may have a network disconnection. It's all perfectly fine. It's only because it's installing new drivers. Click OK. And that's that's it. Just just leave it. <laughs> so if you want like an automatic solution, this does the hard work for you basically. 
So it's installing already. Wow, that's quick. If you want to download the full version of Driver Booster, it's called Driver Booster Pro, and I've put a link in the description. So check the baffle link in the description. I've put both the free and the pro version, so you can check them both out. Okay, so I'll just go onto the pro website just to show you what it's all about. So there's a bit of a comparison here. So the difference between Driver Booster Free and Driver Booster Pro. So you have a larger database to update more outdated and rare drivers. You can unlock the driver update speed limit so it will be a faster driver update. This is a handy feature right here. You can automatically back up all drivers for a safe restore. So say if the driver that you updated wasn't working correctly then you can back up to the previously installed driver. You can auto download, install and update drivers during system idle time so do it in the background easily fix drivers for better performance a few things have been improved as well so in terms of gaming it has a priority to update game ready drivers for smoother and better game performance and also improves the gaming experience with necessary game components with the pro one you get the peace of mind that it's always going to auto update to the latest version so you get all the latest drivers available and the latest version of the software and you get the technical support as well so PC mag recommends it they've got a nice little review there so should be pretty good I know this video is only about the free version so if you're interested in driver booster 7 pro let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about it okay how are we getting on so we're at 30 6% at the moment in fact it's already done the high definition audio the family controller wireless adapter Intel management engine interface it's all very exciting but you get the general idea it's completed it and that's the most important thing so for the USB composite device it does need a restart first and it also needs a restart for the standard controllers I don't know if you caught that we literally didn't do anything <laughs> we just pressed a button it found the right driver it downloaded it and it installed it and also it's done it all of them at the same time you haven't had to click them individually it's done them all at the same time I've got to admit the free version is not bad however if you really want to unlock all the pro functionality I'll put the baffle link in the description so there we go it's actually been really helpful this free piece of software however it's not quite perfect I've got to be honest tell the fact that it does limit the amount of drivers that you can update so yeah it's not quite perfect the free version but then it is a free piece of software so it, do, it does all right for a free piece of software and also if you want the pro version of the software check out the baffle link in the description so driver booster free works but it does have some limitations however there are some absolutely dreadful driver updating software out there and yes I found a video from the old archives which shows a piece of software called driver pack solution do not install this piece of software I can't stress this enough do not even download it however I'm going to play the video as a bit of fun and so you can see just how bad this piece of software is and so we're just going to go straight into driver pack solution and go ahead and download that once it's done click it to open it and here we go we're on driver pack 2019 or whatever year you're watching this video so it's just going through what my computer needs so every computer works differently depending on your hardware so what I get as my results will be completely different to what you get with your results so it's now configuring my computer driver packs voice assistant will help you perform installation without extra stress hello I am a voice assistant who will help you to install your drivers and configure your computer if you okay. wish you can mute me with the sound button in the lower right corner um Driver okay. installation has been started already. Please pay your attention not to interrupt the installation process shush. nor to cut off power supply of your computer shush, shush, so that shush, installation shush, to be shush, completed shush, successfully. Shush, shush, shush. Okay. It comes up with special offers. Just Windows press refuse all mode software. Now. Shush. While in the service mode, ah. all system resources are redirected to driver installation exclusively. <laughs> this increases chances for successful installation by 15%. Voice pumps are probably great, but not when I'm trying to do a tutorial. All software will be closed Shush, to avoid any conflicts Shush. with installation process. As soon as installation ha -ha, is completed, muted you your now. <laughs> computer will reboot in a usual mode. Okay, so, yeah, it will try and get you to download advanced free antivirus, but we don't need that. Well, you may do. I don't know. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. What it's doing is just cleaning the RAM so it's ready to install the drivers. It's worth mentioning that you should always run a fresh install to install drivers. Don't do what I'm doing in 
leaving programs open in the background. I'm just being lazy, quite frankly. But yeah, don't follow that. Just make sure you have a fresh installation when you're installing drivers. I'm sure you could probably leave Chrome open if you want to watch this tutorial whilst you're watching. If not, watch it on your phone or something and just leave your computer alone to do what it's got to do. Okay, this is useless. Congratulations! Together we have almost completed installation, it's time to reboot your computer. But yeah, I would always recommend going on the manufacturer's website, whether it be AMD, Logitech, just because it will always work and it'll be the official drivers, the latest drivers, and also you can trust it's the most legitimate source. So if you like this video, smash that like button. For more, don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. Don't forget to follow me at Baffle Channel. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. For all the latest, head over to baffled.cc. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.